everyone, it's Rebecca from The Glitch Stitchery. I'm here today with a box opening. This is my last box ever from Echo View Fiber Mill. They have unfortunately closed their doors um, and I had placed an order during their final sale. It got lost in the mail for a bit. I was kind of freaking out, but <laughs> it did finally arrive uh, right around the end of Tour de Fleece. So I'm gonna get this open. We're gonna take a look at what I got for my last purchase from them. I'm really going to miss them. They were really fun to buy from and they had great product. So let me get this open. Shouldn't be too hard. The box got a little bit beat up on the side because it got lost. Problem with things getting lost, I forget what I buy. All right, cool. Let's do. Let's start with the. Because I got more wool, I finished off and bought all that they had left of their superwash merino roving. Because I love to dye this stuff. So after I'm done opening this, we'll probably do a dye day, just just as the rest of this video. But I also got two skeins of the tensile merino fingering weight yarn that I loved so much because this is so much fun to weave with and I'm out of it. These are my last two skeins of it until I can find a different shop that sells something similar. I have another mill I buy from but they don't have anything with tensile in it. It is one of my favorite fibers. So I got how much fiber? seven times eight ounces each. So three and a half pounds of the superwash merino. All right, so I bought a tote. And it says, this is probably gonna come out backwards on the camera. I don't know if it'll flip around or not. Use it up, wear it out, make, do, make it do, do without. So I really like this tote. Um, and it does say Echo View Fiber Mill on the back really good size. I might use that today. Then I've got an Echo View Fiber Mill branded tote because I didn't have anything with their brand stuff on it and I wanted it. These are the same pictures that are on their fancy tape they used to seal their boxes. <laughs> so that's nice. And I got some books because they had a whole bunch of craft books. So I got Make Thrift Mend by Katrina Rodabau. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. But this one looked like it suited the type of stuff I like to do. Ooh, it has some dye stuff on there too. Okay, this will be fun to look through later. I got Weaving Within Reach by Anne Weil. Weil? I'd never heard of this one before, but it looked interesting. And it looks like it mostly focuses on like tiny frame looms and stuff. So that's really interesting to me. Um, yeah, this, this should be cool. All right, is that, I think that might've been the only books I got. And I got a bag of coffee. So this is Cafe Feminino Guatemala Dark Roast Coffee. And this is whole bean, so I'm going to have to grind this at some point. It smells really good. <laughs> and I've got this tiny felting kit. So let's make a felted succulent. So this kit has a foam felting mat, two felting needles, needles, brown wool, green wool, a terracotta pot, and instructions. And it's adorable. I don't really do much needle felting, but I thought I would do this specifically because I liked this. All right, is that everything in the box? That was probably everything. Yeah, this, the box is mostly full of wool. Yep, there's a lot of it. So I'm gonna dye probably a pound of wool. Let's see, what colors do I want to do today? I kind of want to do a gradient. Maybe two different gradients. So 
so one pan of one gradient, one pan of the next, and uh, we'll see how that goes. I'll go pick some colors, and I will meet you at the stove. Alright, so I have decided to do two different things with the Echo View fiber today. So I'm going to have one pan, this pan here, that's laid out for a gradient, and then I'm going to take the same colors that I used for the gradient, and I'm going to do a space dyed braid in here as a more randomized approach. So I'm going to see at the end what the two look like. At the moment I'm just leaving them to soak for a couple hours um, in some water and white vinegar. They're both 8 ounces. Yeah, 8 ounces. So this one is obviously laid out flat, and then this one I chained so we'll have more resists. So yeah, I am going to let these sit for a few hours, then put on my safety gear so I can work with dry powder, and then I'll get these dyed. dye day is done. These are pretty much dry. This one's still a little bit damp. And I have re-braided them so that they're like the same thickness and a little bit easier to compare. So I am very happy with how this came out. I love the more gradient-esque look of this one. It's not a perfect gradient, but it does move from one color to the next. So I am happy about that. And I love, love, love how this one came out. Um, I wasn't sure when I made this if it would work at all because I was nervous about the yellow and the purple in one pot together. But 
for the most part, they didn't really mix completely. You would get patches of just yellow and patches of just purple and patches of just red. But then when they did mix, it made this incredible burgundy color that I really, really like. Now it's not like I measured very precisely, so I don't know exactly if these are the exact same amounts of dye, but they are the exact same colors and I tried to at least be close to the same amounts of dye. And I am so happy with how this came out. I really wanna try this again with more color variations just to see how they look made in, you know, applied in different manners, heat added in different manners. The, the order of the steps changed ever so slightly. Um, as it is though, I love these and I am already <laughs> kind of freaking out that Echo View is no more because I have no idea how I'm going to buy more wool when I run out of what I have to dye now. I guess I'll just have to find a new source. I just hate having to find another source when I loved the one I had so much. So this is my last Echo View ever video other than, you know, dyeing the stuff I have left. But unfortunately, I can't even link to their store anymore because it doesn't exist. So I'll have a link to their Instagram in the description so you can at least read about them even though you can't buy from them anymore. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a great day. And in the future, when I spin these, I will have that in another video, so you can look forward to that. Thanks again.